Hey, 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 Mark in the minivan. How are you guys? Um, I was just applying sunscreen and a bunch got in my eye. So avoid putting this stuff in your eye. It's not, it's not nice. Uh, and it, I, so Pearl is here, by the way, here she is. This may be her last video with us because we are in a different location today. We're gonna do a, approximately a two mile uh, hike. But the thing is, the, a dog was attacked by a coyote on this trail about a month ago, and it, it, it wasn't nice. It wasn't good. It was <laughs> didn't end nice for the dog. Uh, so, but listen, we, that's how we roll. We live on the edge, you know. We'll take on the coyotes, Pearl and and, and Mark Striegel here in the minivan. Um, let me turn the car off. Isn't that right, Pearly? Yeah. Are you ready to do battle with a coyote? <laughs> I hope not. It would be really sad if, if tomorrow I came on here and like and actually revealed that Pearl was killed by a coyote. Um, so hopefully that won't happen. Prayers, please. Prayers, please. Uh, okay. So we're talking about rat today. Uh, a guy named Jordan Ziff. Uh, we're talking about K.K. Downing, one of my favorite guitar players. Uh, what else? We're going to mention Carmine Apiece. Hopefully I'll remember to do all this stuff. And we're going to do it. Within six minutes, because the last two videos have been way too long. Somebody said I'm like Andy Rooney of rock. Um, if you're under the age of 50, you probably have no idea who Andy Rooney is. And I'm not sure I want to be Andy Rooney. <laughs> Hopefully my eyebrows aren't, aren't getting that crazy yet. Um, and when they do, let me know, because I will trim them and pluck them. I'm not going to have Andy Rooney eyebrows. Uh, all right? Um, okay, all right, Pearl, this is not working out today. I don't want to have to do another take of this. Come on. She's excited because we're in this different location, or else she smells the coyotes. So, yeah, man, Carmine Apiece, what a great drummer. He just texted me. Uh, apparently, he's watched some of these, these videos, and uh, he was telling me that Jordan Ziff, who's currently in Rat, this amazing young, I'm assuming he's young, he looks young, uh, guitar player, who I also saw play with Marty Friedman was in King Cobra with Carmine. I had no idea. So this guy is is a great player, and I really, really am curious to learn more about him. Would love to do an interview with Jordan. Uh, yeah, I mean he's played with King Cobra, he's played with Rat, he plays with Marty Friedman. And by the way, that Marty Friedman show I saw like three months ago, four months ago, one of the best shows I've seen in a while. Uh, but I'll talk about that another time. But anyways. Um, Rat is rocking on all cylinders now. You got to check them out. I know I was, when I did the review of the Rat show, I didn't have everyone's name. Of course, you have Steven and Juan, who we know and love, two uh, members of the classic era of Rat. But we also have Jordan Ziff, who's the guy I just mentioned on guitar. Just stop. Stop. Chill out. We have Chris Sanders, uh, also on guitar, and he did a great job, too, when I've seen Rat recently. And Pete Holmes from the Black and Blue band. I don't believe he's currently playing with Black and Blue because I just saw Black and Blue, a band I've always loved. Saw them for the first time at M3. They were great, but Pete Holmes was not playing with them that uh, that night that I saw them. So I guess he's out of Black and Blue, which Black and Blue is pretty, let's be honest, they're pretty inactive at this point. Um, so I would understand why he needs to just stay with Rat at this point. Cool. So yeah, that's the current lineup of Rat and... It took me a while to get sold on this lineup of Rat because I was bummed about Carlos and Warren not being with them anymore. But I'm all on board now. I'm all in. I'm all in, you know. So I, I really want to see where Rat goes with, with Jordan on guitar and, and Chris on guitar and uh, with Juan back in with his magic voice and stage moves. <laughs> I mentioned that in the last uh the last video. And if you haven't seen my review of the Rat Ace Fraley show, just scroll down a little bit on this YouTube channel. We are currently at 5,000 uh, subscribers. Man, that's an accomplishment, man. And and the more subscribers we get, the crazier your comments get. Uh, I won't go there. I'm keeping this positive. It's all positive today. Yeah, Carmine just texted me. Yeah, and Carmine Apiece, one of the greatest rock drummers of all times. Literally, I'm not just saying it's because he's a friend of mine. He's literally one of the greatest, most influential rock drummers of all time. If you don't know about him, learn about him. Um, if you would have told the 15-year-old Mark Striegel that one day Carmine Apiece would be texting me saying he's watching my YouTube videos of me sitting in a fucking minivan, I would have said, 
what the hell is texting and what is YouTube? I also not believed you because I, I would have never thought that I'd get to know Carmine and uh, he's a hero of mine and so, so great. Um, I remember my first band, my, my drummer Lonnie Lane was obsessed with Carmine and had his, uh, his book, his instructional book, uh, which I always was jealous of because there were no, at that time, there were no cool guitar instruction books quite as uh, awesome as Carmine's drum uh, instructional books. So, yeah, we're kind of just in random mode again today. K.K. Uh, Downing, man. K.K. Downing will be returning to the stage for the first time in 10 years at the Bloodstock Festival. I don't know where that is. Where is that? Germany or England or something? But anyways, he's returning to the stage at the Bloodstock Festival, playing with Ross the Boss, who had a great album out. Uh, I guess, what was that, last year? Had a great album out recently. Go check it out. The name of it's slipping my mind. Um, so K.K. Downing of Judas Priest fame, returning to the stage. K.K. had a great book out that I read recently, a few months back, maybe a year ago. I don't know. Uh, here's the deal. This has got to be tough for K.K. I don't want to see another Vinnie Vincent uh, episode where he gets on stage and can barely play Lick It Up. Uh, I want to see K.K. return in full form. I want to hear hear him shred. I want to hear him play the Judas Priest songs uh, perfectly. Maybe you know that with Ross's band they could really do some damage. I, I just don't want to hear "Living After Midnight" and "Breaking the Law." I want to hear KK rip and shred. And KK, listen to me closely. Listen to this guy in the minivan in New Jersey. If you can't pull that off, don't do it, KK. Don't. Do a Johnny Carson, disappear and never come back, and let your iconic, awesome image as that amazing blonde haired dual lead player in Judas Priest live on. Don't kill that image. You know, Marilyn Monroe, we still think she's so beautiful because she died when she was beautiful. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, so. And I don't want you to die, KK. Please, live as long as possible. I'm just saying, listen, sometimes you got to step out and bow out grace of, gracefully if you can't do it. So I am freaking excited, nervous, and uh, curious about KK Downing's return to the stage. Do it up right, KK, or don't do it at all. That's my advice. And if you come back and shred your ass off and show us you can still play, I will be campaigning for you to rejoin priest which is where you should be assuming you can still play all right all right thanks guys uh listen everyone's saying interview this person interview that person the way you get me to do that is you become my friend and you pay me on patreon i listen to my patrons more than i listen to the other folks sorry i do because they are uh financial and emotional support a part of what we do here on mark in the minivan and my podcast which is talking metal podcast and to my patreons i'm going after these guys you want to hear some of these more obscure bands I know uh, that you are passionate about. And now that I've become passionate about, I'm going to do some interviews with them for you. Wow, it was supposed to be six minutes. It's 828. I can't say a word more. We got to get off. We got to go fight coyotes, Pearl. Let's do this. Let's kill a coyote. Pearl versus the coyote. Versus the coyote.